hey guys welcome back to another video so today's video would demonstrate you the practical approach of the navigation bar component that we uh, discussed in the prior video so let us get started but before moving on till now we have worked on this html editors and now we just want a navigation bar in here like the amazon login page okay so we are uh, going to our code editor and i hope that this much code should be visible by you all these are my template literals so inside this i would be starting with uh, div dot sls grid so div class should be my sls grid class as we discussed in our prior video and in this i want a column sls dash column and uh, this should be uh, this should be login uh, heading okay so this should be i guess h1 or h2 okay so this is amazon dot n and so how much this should cover is this should cover my how much spaces for sls dash size should be 6 of 12 so that means out of 12 it should cover the half space okay so this is our uh, heading image that uh, or the name okay uh, next further on uh, what we would be going is we would be uh, displaying uh, the user image section the user name section and the tooltip menu so that we could scroll uh, uh, according to the menu headers okay so let's see and just enjoy the code that how am i doing and if you are uh, going with me also so yeah i'm uh, you could see how am i going with the steps so that you could also have a practice of things
so as we could see here guys see now our website is looking pretty much good <laughs> not that much but yes uh, now we have to arrange these items so that it is uh, it looks good so for your understanding what i would do is i would color them separately so that you could have the idea that what is the background color of each item so so see uh till here this is black thereafter this is the uh, see we have divided our uh, columns into six and thereafter five and one so that's why this is six five eleven and one that is up to twelve so this is comprising of the twelve spaces that we wish so i'm removing this i hope you all understood uh what am i trying to say okay now uh, what we would be doing is uh, we would be aligning the things so that they look uh, more better right so uh let us see how we could uh, achieve that so basically what we want is we want this to the right side so that it is against the username and the username i think the font size should be increased a little bit so that it is uh, uh, appears good okay so we would be working on those and see this is the items that we created the button menu items so uh, this is it so now going down and um, making the necessary changes okay So see guys things are looking in the perfect way as we wanted i think the username should be a little bit uh, more in font size so i should think it should be one rem so yes exactly and here comes our navigation menu this is the cart item and this is the uh, items uh, so that uh, this displays as the cart number that how many items have been pushed into the cart okay so see guys our basic idea of uh, this is also achieved like how things are coming see item numbers and the user names the user image and the logo okay for this part this is the dynamic part because with the size increase this would also increase so that's why i have left this space uh, in between so that it should not overlap over to this uh, what we could do is uh, we could have this uh, separately when we would be modifying and creating this dynamic so we would update this accordingly so till now on this was all about your navigation bar i hope you understood this video and if you have any doubts you could comment down below thanks for watching